Christy Black here, Black Saddle Company, and today we are going to talk about gullets. Okay, what is a gullet? A gullet is a part of a saddle that measures pleat concho to concho inside the fleece, and it is virtually impossible to measure a gullet after the saddle's built. So if you get your dimensions from a saddle maker, the dimensions of the measurement of that gullet is done prior to building the saddle. So it is on a bare tree. So you will never get the same measurement again. Now I want you to take a really fine look at all of these gullets, okay? They virtually measure pretty much similarly the whole way through which in my opinion would be like a six and seven eighths because they're not quite seven, but they seem to be a little bit bigger than a six and three quarters. Okay, so we'll take a gander over here. Someone might say, oh, I need a wide saddle. Okay, to me, the saddle is pretty wide. It fits a horse pretty wide, but the gullet is gonna be the same as your standard double J posy here. That is because we have dun, dun, dun. angles. Angles are the most important feature, for lack of better words, in the gullet area of a saddle. Now remember, we will fit a saddle. You never just fit a saddle right here. You still have the whole back and everything else to fit, but today's message is all about the gullet. So the gullet, um, let's say you get a message, I need a eight inch gullet. Guess what? There is no standard in the industry of saddle making for full quarter horse bar, semi quarter horse bar, quarter horse bar. There's no standard. So when you tell me you need an eight inch gullet, first of all, I know there's really not many saddle makers that make an eight inch gullet. And to me, an eight inch gullet would be a draft saddle. However, we don't ever measure. I will do this. If you guys go look at my website, you will notice that there's no full quarter horse bar mentioned in there, no semi quarter horse bar and no actual measurement of a saddle. I will do this for you because people knowing the gullet measurement seems to make them feel better about buying a saddle. And we'll go more into that at the end of the video. But when you look here, I mean, first of all, everybody measures differently, right? Second of all, I mean, what do you got here? The same in all of them. But look at especially how narrow this saddle is and how wide the saddle is. That's because they have different angles. 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 Can you tell them pounding in your brain? Angles. Angles are so important to the saddle and the horse. Okay, so no industry standard. We got that. Um, what does that mean for you? How is that gonna help you fit your horse? The struggle is real, right? So real because looking long, you know, more than just a gullet, you have the full back to fit your saddle and your horse. And plus gotta fit you, right? Well, what I got to tell you is you're gonna either need to find yourself a company that will offer trials. Not, I'm not trying to make this a sales video at all. I'm trying to help educate you so you understand what a gullet is because we need to change the way the horse people think because so many people are fixed on needing that certain measurement that they get so stuck on it that I'm, I, I get worried that they are so stuck on it that they will not try something new. So it's very important that you understand the gullet, AKA angle. Okay, so first of all, find a company that's willing to do trials. Super important, or saddle fittings, if that's an option, not everybody has that option. If it's an option to do a saddle fitting, do that or find a friend with the saddle you want to try. I will do more videos in the future of helping you be able to
put the saddle on your horse and check what to look for. But today, again, I just wanted to instruct everybody about these gullets, how important it is to try to get away from measurements and look at these angles. P.S. There's no such thing as the saddle fits every horse. It's not real. <laughs> so I said it. Elephant is out the bag. I don't think that's how you say it. Elephant. Elephant. Anyways, so we will go into more things in the future about how we will. We do not like shimming. I prefer to have the saddle fit the horse wonderfully, but me, guess what? I have a horse. I have 75 saddles. Not one saddle fits her. Not one. So we have to do a few other things to help make this saddle fit her better because I want her to be comfortable and I want her to perform at her best. I don't have a saddle that fits her. Therefore, I do a little bit of manipulating with saddle pad and some shims. We don't really call them shims, but we use a felt pad um, to help with her to put a to put where there's some gaps. Um, we'll do that also. But comment below in the comments any questions you have. I'm really excited to answer your questions about gullets. Just again, take a really good look at all of these saddles here. I have. Um, I'll just give you some brands. Some people like to know brands. We have a Don Rich here, Jeff Smith, um, a Double J Posey, a Robert Teske, and a Wendy Allen. And cutters, uh, I have cutting horses, cutting bread horses. So cutters to me are amazing. They look so narrow, but the flip, the angle is always so great. They do tend to fit a horse really well. Um, I tried really hard to make the Don Rich fit my horse. My horse's name is Linda. I tried really hard to get that saddle to fit my horse because I love them, but they don't. They have too much rock, which we'll get into again later. Um, but a Jeff Smith fits her best. There's still a few little gaps in the saddle fitting that I am not super excited about, but after trying all these saddles on her, we're going to make it work. It is not, this is a roper. Ropers do tend to have an, a wider angle because rope horses tend to be bigger and those cutting horses tend to be littler. Uh, so yeah, so here's, here's what you got, you guys. Comment in the comments, like this video, share it. Let's blow it up in the horse world so that everyone, we can try to help people understand that looking for that gullet measurement is not what's important. It's the angle and that all gullets are measured prior to being built. Hey, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to my channel because I have so many ideas for amazing videos for you this year. It's gonna blow your mind.